With any call out, uh, the first thing to establish is that the installation is correct. In other words, that the DC voltage from the PV panels are in the right positions. The element wires are going to the element from the correct point on the Elon 100. The thermostat wires are going to the thermostat and that the mains cable is connected correctly. The next step would be to measure the DC voltage, ensuring that the polarity is correct, red to number one, black to number two, and that the wires into the meter are the correct way around. The AC to the Elon 100 should be between 190 and 260 volts. The red light indicates the presence of AC voltage. The green light indicates that the temperature of the water is correct and that the thermostat is open. Doing a DC measurement, measuring across the thermostat, you should measure between about 12 and 15 volts DC. We measure 13 volts, which is fair. Closing the thermostat should bring that down to zero volts. So that wiring is correct and the thermostat is working. The thermostat should click when, when it switches. When the thermostat is closed, DC voltage from the solar panels should be identical to the voltage supplied to the element both at 125. Going to AC, 221 should be exactly the same as the voltage going to the element. Finally, make quite sure that the RJ connectors are connected properly to the Elon as well as into the remote control. If this connection is removed, the Elon will not go into solar mode, irrespective of the position of the pot, it will just go to mains heating. Any earth fault, uh, simulated here by taking earth to one of the PV wires, will result in the red and green light flashing rapidly. Uh, after the earth fault is removed, the red and blue light will stop flashing in about a minute, within a minute or so.